Hey up everybody, uh, I'm on part two of my buffers today. Uh, in part one you'll have seen where I made the sliding part of the buffer, they're all complete now. So I'm going to go on to, on to uh, the housing part I'm calling it. I've got my blanks cut off and I think initially in, in the first part I said I was going to make, make them out of some scrap pieces of brass that I had. I think I've gone off that idea and I'm going to use this this steel and paint them. So I've got my steel already cut to um, in, in relevant size pieces and I'm going to go ahead and uh, machine these. I'll, I'll, do one, I'll do one side then turn them around and do the other side. So I'll see you over on later.
Okay then I'm back over on workbench now. Uh, I've got everything completed now and uh, I've got three, three of them assembled actually. I'm just about to assemble this last one and I just thought I'd show you. I've been in my box of springs which I, I save any, any springs I find, I chuck them in this box. And I've found out I've got quite a lot of these little tapered springs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two of these springs together and utilise them. Um, <clears throat> I've made the locking nuts f for the back when it goes through the buffer beam. So that'll hold it onto loco with that locking nut. I've got these M6 bolts by 2 inch long. So what's going to happen, that's going to go into the body part and the head of that's small enough to get the locking nut over like that and then I'm going to put two of these springs on I'm going to put them that way around so that the larger diameter is up to the face and then this is going to fit onto that M6 screw and I will lock tight that on eventually and that's it I've just got to fit them onto loco now uh, I've got to drill the buffer beam um, I think I'll do that once I've got these painted So that's it for this part then. I've got to do a part actually fitting them to loco, so maybe it might be that. So I'm going to sign off for now then. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.